Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we are playing the Mage in the Arena. We have seven wins so far, one loss I believe. We have a pretty decent deck. Maybe it'll take us all the way. I mean, it's certainly better than our Rogue deck from from the last. What do you call it? Oh, last run. Right. Uh, so we are going first. We don't really need the loot hoarder. Even though I'm tempted to keep it because we are going first and we might, you know, run out of cards, but it could work as a free drop. You know what? Let's keep it. Then we have turn one, turn two, turn three. Wait, turn two, turn three, turn four. There we go. Turn five. All right, let's go for this. Oh, that's another turn three. That's even better. Wow, that's quite a power curve. Two, three, four, five. And then we have a loot hoarder to keep us stocked on cards. Well. Oh no. That's not good at all. Wow, and I thought I had a good curve going. Well, I do. No chucker. You know what, let's play that one. I'm sure he can get six damage to the face, but hopefully he's not able to kill our spider thing. Well, he's not, but he is able to protect his subomatic. Come on, where are your frost bolt? That is not a frost bolt. That is not good. Alright, let's play the Yeti. Kill one of those. At least he is overloaded, so. It's a lot of damage though. Take us down to if he goes for the face, takes it down to 16. Well, you know what? At least he had to use the rock fighter to kill our minion. Because if we hadn't played a minion there and he had played the rock fighter on the Sabomatic, well that's another six damage. Okay, we can kill that one finally. Um and we will. So there we go. I'm tempted to fire blast that to clear the board. But I really want the Spectral Knight out, so let's do that. And I'm just not that big of a fan of the Jungle Panther, since it's it never really gets two for one. It's like a tempo play in a way, because you can trade up, but at the same time doesn't impact the board immediately. Uh, let's kill that one. Put that into it. Then the uh, fast bolt. You know what? I like that. So let's do it. And we can, let's clear the board this time, since now we actually have something I want to play. That'll be great to, you know, freeze him so he can't play a weapon. Well, he can, but he's not going to get much out of it if he's frozen. Hmm. Alright. On that into it and fire blast. Flame strike. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So we did this. That, and then we can play these two. Oh. Now we just hope he doesn't have lightning storm. And if he does have lightning storm, we hope he he doesn't get the chaka. Actually, if he does have lightning storm and we stay alive with a two-one ch Okay. What is going on? <laughs> Dr. Boom? Oh man. Fine. I guess that's the game we're playing here. Dr. Boom. Should we flame strike? It's still a really good trade for him. Yeah. Well. How do we do this? Run that into it, then not these two to the face, flame strike. I think that's the only real solution, right? Yeah, okay. 
that, that sad flame strike. No, I didn't mind if you killed the loot hoarder, but not the chucker. Oh, poor chucker. As a Drake, sure, why not? Um. Fire plus plus a war golem. Yeah, I think that's the that's the play. I'm just gonna hope he doesn't have a hex or something like that. Well, let's see. We're both kind of low. But he has way more cards than we do. Squire, and we don't have any more flame strikes, even though it looks like it could be quite useful. Interesting. That was a good trade for us. Would have preferred to keep it, but hey. Oh. So if you play the suit, Spear will be do full damage with this. What do we play? Do we play the mirror entity? Do we think we'll get something better than this from it? He still has a lot of minions, so he can easily play one of his cheaper ones. But yeah, let's just get this one out. For now. Oh man! Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a, the South Sea Deckhand. That's not a good card. So, that's fine. Nothing to see here. But, um. Hmm. Oh, Sunwalker. That is an excellent card. Let's do this. And do that. Right. He can kill this. Oh, yeah, he's getting really low. Yeah, so he probably doesn't really like to hit minions with this doom hammer. Let's see which minion we get. Yeah, if you get as much. Oh, nice! I was worried there, but somehow it worked out. All right, let's keep going here. Doctor Boom won't stop us. And I mean, look how much Dr. Boom took to remove. He took a full flame strike and a second minion. And people say flame strike is overpowered in arena. Well, you know, I think Dr. Boom is the real problem. But you never see him in arena. Except today. Alright. Oh, slime. Or an ooze, I should say. Uh, just, I hope he can get another two drop. But I think I might still play it because of what I have talked about before. It's like just holding on to your situational cards can really hurt you. But we did get another two drop, so that's good. I'd much rather play that on turn two. And <laughs> a secret. That seems to be like. All paladins do that nowadays. Back in the day, secrets were not very common from paladins, even in arena, but... That has changed. Alright. Oh. Okay. That's fine. I hope it's Noble Sacrifice and we can, like, trigger it with an imp or something. Oh, now we need our secret. We are prepared in case he plays a true silver champion this turn. Um, man, this one trades so well with what we have. I'm tempted to fireball it, but that's such a lackluster play. It's 
So say he runs that into that, and I'll get free light. Then we could kill it with a Yeti, but we would have lost the Imp Master. You know what, I wanna keep my Imp Master. It, I hope it's Redemption. <laughs> nah, not Redemption. Let's do this. And it's not Noble Sacrifice either. So it is probably Avenge, like usual. Hello. Alright, so... One of them is gonna get buffed. can't really deal with that. Like if you run those two into that, that'll be a four free. And I can't flood the ball either, that's also scary. Because then he can just use consecration. Maybe we should Hmm. I don't like this. Okay. Well, yeah, you know what? It looks fine, actually, because... Like, you can either kill the Yeti, which, you know, whatever. And then we also we just have all these one ones. Oh, consecration though. That's the one thing I was, I'm still afraid of that. Okay, things turned out okay. He used a card on that, so that's fine. Oh, Sunwalker. All right, let's do this. And that. And then things are looking okay. Trading to an imp. No weapons still. When are you gonna play a weapon so we can ooze you? Something needs tinkering? Hmm. Alright. Wow. That's a pretty good trade for us. Happily take it. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can dark scale healer. So we could attack into something and then heal up. So we're not stuck at one life. Hmm. Do that. Also fire blast. Doesn't really help us. Play a sorcerer's apprentice. Let's kill that. And heal up. Play this one. And go for the face. I don't think you need to give anything taunt. This gives him more options. Well, I guess we could have given the 4 5 taunt. Interesting. I guess it would have changed nothing other than the fact that we wouldn't have the card anymore. Oh man, too many shredders here. Oh, the Russian one can buff the mana worm when we need it. Maybe we kill that, see what comes out. Hmm, that could potentially be... bad. 
<laughs> like say he has a rusty horn for example. Um Let's do this. And end turn. And I don't think he has Consecration. I think there were good times to play it earlier. I mean, of course, he could have drawn into it since then, but I think the risk is lower than it normally would be. But let's see. Right, Sunwalker. Fair enough. Call Hound. <laughs> oh, could be good. Um, let's see, if we fire blast that and then play a call hound. Then we run these two into that. Kill that. Go for the face. I've just gotta hope he doesn't have like something an elder peacekeeper or something. At least I don't have to be too scared of a weapon since we have the ooze. Hmm, maybe we can rush him down. Oh polymorph. That's so good. So let's do that. And let's kill that one. Oh wait, did I miss lethal or something? We could have done... Well, this one is attacking the face, right? I don't think we missed lethal, but I think it was really close. Yeah. Um, let's just give this one taunt, because why not? And then do 3 damage to the face. Okay. That works. Right, we could have done... got him down to two life. No, three life, I guess. If we keep our core hound... Um... Okay. <laughs> Right, okay. Coin. And and the last spare part or something? Yeah. Alright. Very nice. So that is... Nine wins. Alright. We're getting somewhere. Let's see what happens here. If we can get to ten. Who knows? This is doing even better than expected, because, I mean, the deck is pretty good. Uh, it's not exactly the best deck I've ever seen, but hey, I'll take it. Let's see what we get. Shaman. Alright. So we have some free drops. <laughs> Do I want to hold on to it? Uh, just in case I get the secret. <sighs> you know what, let's just do it. <laughs> oh, we got it! Oh, that makes me so happy. We took the risk and it paid off. Alright, so we're just gonna coin that on turn 2. And then turn 3 we can play the spider tank. Hmm. Alright, that's fine. Wow, we have a great hand here. I mean, it's true, this deck is pretty good simply because it has so many solid, cheap minions. Spider tank and yetis and all that stuff. <laughs> oh, baby. That's fine. Ah, that's less than optimal, but it's okay. So now, I think I might actually play the Mana Worm. So 
so we can fire blast do that. All right. This one doesn't have too much value. I mean, it's like, sure, you can kill a 1-1, one -one, or you can die to a 1-3. And if you play a Flame Tongue, yeah, sure, you can kill the Mana Worm, but... Ah, okay. Ah, that was decent of him, but... It's still not that great, I mean. We just kill it here, and then we play a Yeti. Next turn we can play a 2-drop and a 3-drop, and we're looking good. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Hmm... Snow chip. Kill that. We're happy he doesn't have a hero power that can take advantage of it. So we do that. Play the spider tank and the chugger. We don't have any spells for the Apprentice yet. Plus, the Apprentice dies to the 2-2, two -two, so that's not very appealing. Alright, Yeti, you did your duty. Actually, I guess the Yeti traded exactly with the Silverhand Knight. It killed both of them. So that's actually trading up to a fight drop. Uh, so we both have good decks, it looks like. Not too surprising, considering where we are at. Uh, let's kill that. Kill that. Just try and get good value. Okay. None of us really have time to play use our hero power, we both have stuff to play every turn. For pretty much all of our mana. Well, we didn't last turn, actually. Oh no! He's gaining value! I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. So, he's gonna be frozen, right? Oh, wait a second. Yeah, he killed the snow chucker. So he's gonna be frozen on his turn next time. So if we fire blast it here, he can't attack with it, then we can fire blast it again. And that way we can kill it. So I think let's do that. And then we will gain some value. Right. Play the two free drops and fire blast next turn. Yeah, that's not exactly surprising, considering... Hmm, Bomb Lover. Okay, so what do we do? We must have a reversing switch. Well, I'm pretty sure we Fire Blast that one. And just run that into that, and then bomb lava maybe. Yeah. Okay. So we are slightly ahead in this game, I would say. But they can definitely go either way. Hmm. I don't like all this card draw. What I do like is that he buffed our truck. I'm guessing he didn't consider that. So we have the reversing switch. <laughs> we could kill the totem with it, but I think we can probably find a better use for it later. We can kill the totem anyway. So we can run that into that. I'm a little scared of lightning storm. Which makes me not want to play too much stuff with low life. Could reverse this one up to a 3 5. You can still run into it though. Take it down to 3 life, uh, so it doesn't help that much. I wonder. 
Let's do this. Hmm. I just hope he doesn't have... Like, I just didn't want to play everything. Unfortunately, we still opened ourselves up to... Mind control check, so that might have been a mistake. Oh, that's why he did it. I see. So he could make sure he had a minion alive to use the cult master with? That makes sense. Alright. Fireball. So how much damage do we have? 10... 16. Oh wait, we have more. We can reversing switch. That's 5, 8... 13... 19. Alright, I think we got it. Just do that. That. There we go. Very nice. Alright, 10 wins. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.